Hello everybody, and believe it or not, this is another video from Gigaraptor. It has been a while, but I wanted to show you something that I've been doing. Something that I did was a little small, and I thought, well, I might as well show you guys. Mainly because I've released to you the source code for two programs that I worked for in what has become my very small amount of spare time. This, this one I'm looking, I'm showing you here, is called Nview which is a small document viewer in N cursors and what it allows you to do is view any text based file be it source files text files make files anything that's based off of ascii and you can view it like that there are a couple of limitations before i before i dive into it mainly the fact that you can't scroll and it will only load it will only load um files that are the the same size or lower than the resolution of the console so and also it runs really poorly under windows for some reason i'm not quite sure why if, whether it's a quirk with pd cursors or something but i suppose since i did this in about four hours and i don't intend on picking it up again that's something that you can solve because obviously the best way to learn is to modify other people's code so just to um, dive into it you type in obviously the program name which is again with the clicking and view and then you then the second argument or is the second argument is the name of the file so we're going to choose a readme for the program that I provided and this loads up the default color which is green this was programmed on Linux on Linux obviously on my Raspberry Pi and for some reason under xubuntu white and yellow seem to bug out but on the standard x term under debian on on the raspberry pi it seems to work fine but and it should probably be on any x term but i'm not quite sure why not so as you probably read there what you do is you type that and then you type in a color so say we want to put it red red Poor spelling mistake right there if you look. Poor, poor spelling mistake. But now I've noticed that, I suppose I will change it. Then we can do aqua. We can do blue. You could do yellow and white on most systems, but for some reason it bugs out in the virtual machine, as I've mentioned. So that's a neat program. You can get the source code off of GitHub. I've uploaded it up there. And I'll put the link in the description. And now for the other program, I called it the Matrix because it is essentially a matrix simulation, and it generates little lines as you can see here in the matrix style. If you see how the initial character is actually white, and then it changes very quickly, it does that. And also, one interesting thing you can do, you know, it ends. You press escape to end it, but obviously it's any key to continue with end view. So you can specify what areas of the ASCII table you want. So say we want 65. When it displays, it's designed for the full screen Raspberry Pi screen, so it's you won't see a lot of them. But you can obviously modify the code. It's very easy, and I actually just did a comment that should solve that problem but if it doesn't, well again you can look, I did this in about three hours after working out some little bugs most of the code took about 45 minutes and NV probably took longer, I think it took me about two hours to do most of the code and then the rest of the three hours of debugging it so overall these took me less than a day very easily and you could probably do something similar to this very easily as well regardless of where you are in terms of how well you've learned programming So for the future I'm not going to be uploading another video for about a month maybe maybe t maybe a month and maybe five weeks say because of um, other things and so when I get back I'll be doing an N-Cursors tutorial because I've learned it, I've bought the book, I've read through it and all of that and you can watch that then I might, I might even do some let's plays if if I feel like it because why not it seems like it's the cool thing to do and I've got a lot of games so if you want to have a look at them if you want to watch that go ahead say so, um, thanks for watching I'm really sorry about 
all of the delays and all of that but at least the channel's not dead so thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next episode on Giga Raptor. like and subscribe if you wish comment if you wish and thanks for watching once again